Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a Super C Diesel with bunk beds from Nexus RV. This is the 2021 Nexus Wraith Model 35W. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited that we are finally getting a chance to take a look at the Nexus Wraith. This is a step above their Triumph and a step below their Ghost. One of the best price point Super C's on the market today. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Matt, you mean one of the best price Super C's in the world. Oh, in the entire world, absolutely. Hi everyone. Hi Andrea, how's it going? It's good, we're in Richmond, Virginia, you guys. And you know what? I have not seen a Wraith in a few years, so I'm really excited to see this. I think it's a bunk model. Yes, it is. So uh, yeah, you're right, let's begin. Model is 35W. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 36 feet long. This is powered on an international MV chassis. 300 horsepower, it's a 6.7 liter, 300 horsepower Cummins engine with a 2500 Allison transmission. And this motorhome can tow a true 10,000 pounds. Andrea, what's so good about this chassis is that it has an unlimited mileage warranty. Let me pop the hood real quick first. Ready for this? I am ready for this. Oh. Other side. There you go. Now that's an Check engine. Out this engine. So here's what's so great about International. The service facilities are all over the country. Uh, at any pilots or flying J's, they have a three hour guaranteed because most people who have these international chassis are truckers and they need to get back out on the road. Andre, are you ready for this? Yes. This has the warranty on the chassis on the international part, two year, uh, two years on the engine. You know how many mileage? Unlimited. Three year, oh crap, two years. Hang on a second. I just got a little confused. I'm sorry, you ready for this? Yes. On the chassis part, two years. Unlimited. On the engine, it's three years. Unlimited. On the transmission, it's four years. Unlimited. And on corrosion, it's five years. And guess what the mileage is on that one? Unlimited. Unlimited. So I, guys. That's awesome. Unlimited mileage. I, I love that. This is a beauty. Sure is. Check out this nice fiberglass front cap. But I mean, did you see the grill and the lights? Oh. It's it's pretty awesome and nice. When you're driving down the road, this is gonna drive great. Check out these tires, Andrea. These are the Continental tires. 255-70R, 22.5 with the shiny Accuride rims. Let's take a look at this bunk over the cab right here. We have what's called a fiberglass front brawl, which means it caps over the front, so where the seam's right there. Right here we have cameras in your left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. And then look at these big old mirrors, Andrea. Isn't this huge, awesome, and it nice? It is. It is so nice. And then when you hop in this cab, you know, you're entering, you're you're not entering an RV, you're entering a truck. You're getting in that a has, truck. That has the RV on the back. And I see there's a fuel tank here. Yep, right over there. If you back up, you can see the full body paint. Does look super awesome and nice. We do have a little bit of uh, nope, that's where your battery is, right there. Okay. We do have a TV on the outside, right here. Nice. And check this out. We have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Nice. Like look the pattern that. underneath of it. Nice power awning with LED lights. Now, because this is a Nexus motorhome, they use the Asdale sidewall composite, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. A lot of manufacturers use that. They don't just use, but they'll only use it on the outside. 
Nexus will use it on the inside as well, so you won't get that formaldehyde smell. Also, the construction, they use a steel cage construction, which is 72% stronger, which means 72% safer than aluminum, which is awesome. Right there is your propane tank. And Andrea, we will have all the tank sizes and all the specs about this motorhome, lengths, widths, everything, down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. Electrical outlet. Uh-huh. Okay, wow. Very nice. Even more storage, nice. You can tell it's the bunk model because they do place the windows there. Actually, I don't think they did that in previous years. So I'm glad they put the uh, windows there. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right. Oh, right there, more storage. Wow, great storage. Great storage for a Super C. And then right there. Very oh nice. man. No ladder. No ladder. Womp womp. Coming around the back. We have no ladder for the back. We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. I love this. 10,000 pound hitch, 12,000 pound hitch, Andre. I'm sorry. That's crazy. This motor home, I think can 12 tow 10, oh, no, no. I think it can tow 12,000 pounds. I know it can at least tow 10,000 pounds. Always check with General RV or any dealership to make sure. And we have a backup camera right there. Finishing up with the driver's side, we have your storage right there with your 50 amp power cable. And I see that the inverter? Yep. Okay. Here's your water heater right here. Here's your tank fill, city water, dry camp, potable. Oh, potable. 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 <laughs> and other more side of storage there. just look at that look at the craftsmanship for wraith yeah very looks, nice looks really good right here we do have the outdoor shower right here i love it right here that's where you dump your black and gray tank okay right other over here. side of storage other side of storage other and side of the storage it's gonna be your generator oh wow yep, look at that it's a cummins onan 8,000 diesel generator. And then we got more storage That's here. That's a big generator, Matt. Yep, and more storage here. That's the DF. I lied, that is where you fill up your DEF. Nice. And then here's What's how the you cargo? Enter. Cargo carrying capacity is 4,796 wow. pounds. This is America and this is Super C. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go, take a look. <laughs> I guess he skips in Richmond as well. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, the slide is in. Yes. Wow, look at that walkway. Oh, big walkway. That's great. Okay, so here I'm going to walk through and go to the bathroom. As you can see, there's bunks. There is the bathroom. And, oh, wow, I love that we can access the bed still. Yes. Okay. Now, Andrea. Yes. While the slide outs are coming out, I have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the Nexus Wraith and the three things you don't like about it. Dave Middleton, Claude Donati, they're the owners. But not only that, the factory help. Dave Lint and Brian, we don't know Brian's last name, but Brian's not even my factory rep, right? And I needed some help before making this video to bring you guys accurate information. And he called me like a million times and I'm like, dude, stop calling me. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way, in a good way, because they love the show, y'all, and they love, they, I promise you, Nexus reads each and every comment yes. you guys leave. That's what I'm trying to say. So leave down in the comments below, because the only thing we can do is improve the RVing community, especially with companies like Nexus RV, Absolutely. who will listen to their customers. Cool. And we thank you for commenting. Let's get started up here, Andrea. That's a little weird spot right there. So check this out, the International 
Oh, well, it's MV chassis. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Allison transmission, only 902 miles. Agree. Start her up. You ready? Yeah. Woohoo! Hell I yeah, hope you guys bro. Can hear it. Yes, that is a purr. Andre, why don't you sit in my co captain seat? Yes. Oh, I love the chairs. Oh, I just do. Oh, yes. woohoo! Truck in. Well, yeah, when we're riding down the road, we're trucking. These are really comfortable chairs, you guys. So mine's a power seat. I saw that. Is yours a power seat? No. You sure? Well, I mean, it's not to recline. No, no, no. You'll, you'll, you'll feel it on your side. No. I don't feel it. Oh, wait. Those buttons? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. is a power seat. I thought I saw that. Okay. You got your windows right here. Again, God. look at oh, this. Oh, this is so comfortable. I mean, look, when you're driving. I love that steering wheel. Look at that. Right. I mean, you're international. You're trucking. The only problem with this. <laughs> Get out of my way! Please move! No, man. <laughs> We've already been in talks with Dave Middleton and they're working on it with International. You need a big old air horn. You need to oh, oh, get out my way. But this is a pretty bad engine, you guys, and it, it it's a nice ride. It's not a bad, it's so bad it's good. It's one of those bats. It's not a bad engine. They know. It's a good bat. They know. <laughs> awesome. And I got plenty of space here, plenty of room. And I love that. And this isn't loud. Yeah, it's loud and it's, it's not like it's a- It's not that loud. I mean, I can hear you. Right, but it's kind of like a, it's a, I'm a trucking loud. I like that. Did these swivel? Uh, no, they do not. Okay. So over here, come on down. All oh, right. We do have this bunk over the cab here. This bunk over the cab, I know it holds 350. I think it holds 500 pounds. Do you remember? I, I'm pretty sure it's 500 as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I... Uh, we'll, we'll put the number up right here. Bing how much it holds but uh but yeah nice bunk over the cab you got a fan up there uh-huh the electric fan right here's a nice big tv and i like the placement of it it does swing out oh good yep so you can place it wherever you want but i like that because it is um uh, oh yeah no yeah no that's a great tv placement right across from your theater seats right here i love this very nice and comfortable and, and and let me explain something to you guys when it comes to the interiors of these super c's they are definitely not as plush and polished as a class a gas but you're getting this for the chassis part not for the living area they're always going to be a little bit smaller and everything and, and then, there is a chair there that reclines as well yep and there's a window over there matt and then we got these uh cabinetries right here nice hidden hinge cabinetry they get the job done. Very nice. And we got windows here. I don't mind the balances. What, what say you? Um, they're okay. They don't, you know. Uh, what was in here? Was it shades? Um, looks like there's nothing in that one. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's supposed to be shades. Yeah. Privacy blinds. Yep. Perfect. Very nice. And then as Andrea said, the chair right here with another little window right there. I like that. Also, equalizer uh, auto leveling. Push of a button. Awesome. When you get to where you're going, you just push that button and then you're going. A little bit of storage up there. And then right over here in this dinette, solid surface countertops right here. Wow. Very nice. Here's some uh, next exclusive features. Uh, you like that? Next exclusive. Yep, there's Dave Middleton and Claude Donati. We will link um, the factory video so you guys can meet Dave in our videos that we've done. To this video you'll see that down in the description below nice solid surface countertops cup holders this does drop down to make a bed and andrea you got Storage. more cabinetry nice how do you like that little light right there it's it's nice do you not like it no <laughs> oh <laughs> andrea's like andrea has a tell yeah so if you guys watch you they know, know me <laughs> yeah and uh, uh storage under here Maybe. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, no, there's no? not. Nope. Okay. So. Awesome. No storage, but again, it does drop down to make. And tell everybody what's behind this Nexus. Oh yes. So right here's the manual override to get your slide out in in case it ever breaks because slide outs do break. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. And here's the exciting part. So you guys got to remember, this is a super C, y'all. You ready for this? 
Oh, no, I don't know the MSRP. Crap, that's right. So this unit, sorry, y'all. This unit just came in literally over the weekend to Richmond, Virginia. So I'm doing the MSRP based off the 34W, not the 35W, but it's going to be very, very similar, which is still super exciting. And bing, by the time you're watching this, hopefully it will show the 35W. So MSRP for this motorhome here is around $215,000. MSRP. Sale price, we have 24% off nominal price. That's the price of one of the gas motorhomes we just reviewed. But Andrea, it doesn't matter if this says 210, 215, or 220, and it doesn't matter what the sale price is because we can always get you a better sale price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. Or go to mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. That's my email. Or go to mattsrvreviews.com. That's my website where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. I work in Florida, but I can sell you an RV anywhere in the country. Okay, y'all? You contact me. I will get you with somebody from our team, and we will get you the best price in America. America. Let's continue the video. Yes, everybody. We will get you the map price. And I believe they'll be getting a coupon as well. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the kitchen. Okay, good. Look, adjustable shelves. Very nice. I like that there's a window. You have blinds here. Uh-huh. We have the lily pad. Lily pad of power. I yes, ma'am. I almost called it a leap pad. Yep, lily pad of power. <laughs> we got a... Ooh, these are heavy. We got a big sink here. Interesting. I don't hate it. It's a really good size. And an extension. Nice okay. solid surface countertops. Yes. Okay. We got a cabinet under here for our trash can. Yes, ma'am. And two drawers. One. Two. Yep. We got a convection microwave. Very nice. Uh-huh. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Nice. And we have a cabinet under the stove. Yep. And a drawer. Nice. And a residential whirlpool. Very nice. Wow. All right, and it looks like, guys, there's the pantry right here, and I like that it has adjustable shelves. Yes, me too. Very nice. Very nice. Again, very nice. I, I, I just love the way they make use of the space in here. And then check out this bunk bed. Both bunk beds have windows. Both bunk beds have TVs. I love that. Privacy curtains. Very nice. Good length on the beds. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. Oh. Yep, I can see a warranty claim coming in for that TV. There we go. Yep, very nice, good length. You know, I'm five foot six, so if anybody's any taller than about five foot nine, they're gonna have some issues. I like that there's drawers under there. Oh, good, big drawers too. But if you're taller than five foot nine, you are going want to want to uh, use the bunk over the cab. Great drawers underneath. Yeah, actually. definitely. Very nice. And then in the bathroom, okay, a little bit of a smaller shower, not gonna lie. Good height. Great height, great length, not so great width, but I do like how there is the glass door. It's a 36 by 24 shower. Trey, you wanna check out the medicine cabinets yeah, and all that? Yeah, look. Great size medicine cabinet, fan up there. Um, cute little sink right here. Uh -huh. Counter space and another cabinet. Oh, I'm sorry. Show that again. Let yep. me turn the lights on in here. There we go. Yep. All right, Great. Matt, let's see what's going on. It's now time for the toilet test. It does not look good on first sight. Uh oh, let me see your legs. Oh, oh. man. This motor home is not made for us little people. No. Um, good placement, good position. It is porcelain, but it's too high for me, so it's not getting the prime pooping position. But again, here's what I will say. If you're in the market for a Super C, a $20 Squatty Potty fixes that, and then it works. Just a little elevated for me. 
All right, going wah, wah. to the master bedroom, we have an accordion door. Yep, accordion door right there. I like there. the lights on the floors. Is this a king bed? I don't, I don't think so, is it? It's definitely- Yeah, it is. It does look like a king, yeah. Plenty of space. Look at this, you got a space right there on oh, the side. Oh, and they and give you right little nightstands with cubbies in them. Nice headboard in a good position. You got cabinetry above. Got reading lights yep. there as well. Very nice. And yeah, Let's then across, see. that's the light switch. Those are the light switches. And then the air conditioning. Oh, something I would like to mention about the AC. It is metal ductwork throughout the whole AC, not styrofoam. So you can clean it just like residential. That's also gonna help keep down the allergies for allergy people. It's got a nice window right there. Storage. You got wardrobes on each side. More storage. Is there storage behind the TV, I wonder? I think so. Oh yeah, the whole thing lifts up. Wow. Very nice. And six drawers. Wow. Good sized drawers, Matt. Nice sized drawers. And here's the other wardrobe. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah, oh, those little TVs had DVD players as well. Cool. Cool. Well, Andrea, oh, is there storage underneath? No, I don't think so, but let's just check. Uh, no. Nope. No storage, it's okay. Well, Hello, Andrea, switch. as great as this motorhome is and as nice as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. First thing I love about this motorhome is, I mean, call me crazy, this might be some of the most comfortable theater seats I've ever sat in. I mean, it's like a lazy boy. Like I sink into it, TV placement's okay. Again, it is a Super C, um, but I really do like that, and it feels great, and it's comfortable, and so many times when you're in bunkhouse unit, they won't even give you theater seats, so I like that. So that's one, two. Okay, what I really love about Nexus is the quality and construction yes. of this motorhome. Yes. So talking about how they do their venting that Matt just talked about, also With how they build these, the, the aluminum yes. framing, yes. the Asdale on the inside Absolutely. and outside. It's hands down, one of the best coaches out there built. And true story, I had a customer, I think they texted me the other day. Uh, give me a second. Let me see if they texted me. It was, um, they said Dave Middleton. Oh, not David. Dave. Maybe it was on Facebook. Doesn't matter. They, they reached out to me and they said, why should I buy a Nexus RV, right? They were trying to get sold on the brand. And I stopped the conversation right there. And I said, hey, here's what you do. I said on Monday, which they should be calling today, because it was over the weekend. I said, hey, on Monday, why don't you call Dave Middleton and ask him why you should buy a Nexus RV? And that's that. The company support, the guy Brian, the guy Dave Lent, everybody at Nexus is super awesome and helpful. And they're there for you. But here's the most important part. Before, during, and after every sale. Really awesome and nice. Great company. So that's number two. And then the third thing I love about this motorhome is this international chassis. That two, three, four, five year warranty unlimited mileage. If you plan on putting some mileage, if you plan on trucking, this is a chassis for you, especially the service, avail service availability part with pilots and flying J's across the country. They have that three hour guarantee. It's really awesome. Not to mention the towing capability. Right. It's badass and awesome. Great. So that's three things we love about the Wraith. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. You go first. You ready? Yes. Here we go now. I've been saying this for years. I do not like how the bunk bed does not flip up to become a wardrobe area. What I would do, I would take these balances out. I might even take the TV out or like figure out a way. Just so these beds can, look, they, they don't even need to do that. They just need to flip up right here where the wood part flips up 
and have it become a wardrobe space at the same time. So that's one, two. Okay. <laughs> I would really, really like to see some lighter wood in here. Womp womp. Um, I know it's probably gonna be here in the future. Yep. But I would just like to see some lighter cabinetry, some lighter around the slide, some lighter furniture. Here's what I think would might help, Andrea. You see how the lights are like right next to each other? Yes. I feel like if, if they added a third row of light, it would really just brighten it up in here. Maybe. Yep. I, I totally think but so. But I think the cabinetry, if they go with some lighter colors and some lighter flooring, it'll be really open in here. Yep. Again, especially with these class seats, they're, yes. they're not that big and spacious because of the chassis and all that stuff. So yeah, I do concur with that. So that's two, and then number three is outside. I do not like these flip up doors like this because I'm trying to load something up. I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get under this door. I wish these doors flipped vertical. I wish they flipped sideways. I'm not even mad that it's the fiberglass doors. But I, you do I, see I there's, like, there is pistons on there. So you, I, I think they'll change that in the future. Yeah, I don't like how they flip up like that, but no big deal. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this Nexus Wraith, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell. Or you can check us out on our website at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below on the website. Again, you contact me, I will get you in contact with one of our specialists who will answer all your questions, but more importantly, get you a phenomenal price on this. And we don't sell the race or the ghost in Florida. You'd have to go to our other dealerships, but no problem. We can ship it to your house if we need to. <laughs> Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Nexus does watch our videos and read the comments. So you guys, if you have any feedback about how changing things for the future, go ahead and leave it. Yes. Um, also, you guys, if you haven't joined the Facebook Club Art Deco, bing, make sure you join that. It is, it is a way to get in contact with Matt and I personally and also for you guys to talk to each other. Um, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.